these guys are excited. Oh, that's great. That's exciting. Yeah. I want you to talk about that a little bit, okay. too. Okay. Hi, this is Randy Bear here again. This is with Plaza de Armas and now Cast SA. We're here at the Republican Party headquarters, and actually we're here now with what I understand to be Sheriff Susan Pamerlo. Is that correct? Susan? Well, we're pretty close. 91% of the precincts are in. There's still a 17,000 difference, and with 9% more of the uh, precincts to go, uh, that's pretty tough to close that gap. You're feeling confident about this at this point. We're so. very positive about it. So how's this race been for you as far as like, what are some of the issues that you kind of uh, addressed during this campaign? You know, the important thing was we needed to educate citizens of Bear County that this, the role of the sheriff in Bear County is to lead and manage the resources so deputies and detention officers can do their job. The sheriff of Bear County doesn't arrest people. Uh, doesn't solve uh, murder cases. They're great folks who do that job and we need to make sure that they have the tools to get their job done. So I think it was in, in really educating people as to what the real role of the sheriff is for Bear County. This is the 19th largest county in the nation. This is no longer, you know, small town law enforcement operations. This is a big metropolitan huge budget and organization that requires executive leadership skill. Let me ask you this. So this is kind of an interesting thing. You're now joining, I think this is, you're the third sheriff of a major county in Texas now. How does that feel to being a, you know, a female sheriff here in Bear County? You know, it really doesn't have to do with gender, doesn't have to do with partisan politics, because the number one priority is keeping Bear County safe. Number one is public safety. And we've got to take the politics out of public safety and focus solely on public safety. That's what citizens of Bear County expect. And I know that there's a great team of deputies and detention officers and civilian employees that are focused on doing just that. Have you had a conversation, has Sheriff Ortiz called you yet to offer congratulations yet? Or are you still waiting on that call? I haven't heard. I haven't heard yet. I see you've got some great supporters here behind you. You were talking a little bit about those. Is that these are kind of enthusiastic supporters here. You know, I'm really excited about this because there have been so many deputies and detention officers, civilian employees, who have supported me. And not only have they put, well, they put their lives on the line every day, but you know, I think it's really great. There are so many of them, they've got t-shirts that say, I wear a badge and I support Susan for sheriff. But this one is the one that I really like. I was the gonna most. say, show us that sheriff, show yeah. us that, that one there. This, this is my sheriff wears high heels and lipstick. I love that. That is fantastic. <laughs> and uh, and one of the uh, one of the sheriff's office employees put this together. And I just I just love it. That's great, that's fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations, Sheriff Parmelo. Sheriff Elect Parmelo, thank you so much. Thank you so much.